Hey guys, and welcome to the Blender Agenda's 7th video tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be covering landscaping in Blender and terrain. So here we go, open up Blender. And you have your default queue, we won't be using this in this tutorial. So just erase it using X. And space part to add, go to mesh. And down from there onto grid. And we're going to have the each on 64 just for this tutorial. You can have whatever you want just to make sure they're square, have the same. And then once they're done, it'll just look like a normal plane. But if you hit, if you just hit tab, you'll be able to see that it has 64 times 64 faces. So this is going to be your landscape. From here, go on to the image editing tool and onto materials and then first of all go on to add new and then from materials add new once more and texture type choose an image and for now I'm just going to pick a random image but in the description I'll leave a link to a landscaping proper image but really just try anything out because you never know I'll just try around a picture now and it could turn out as a brilliant landscape. It's just really potluck. So if I just choose this, this is a pre blended picture that I've already made, you see. This is on Blender Ice. I'll also leave a link to this so you can tell me what you think of my work. And then from then go onto the editing tab and set your camera to size just so you get a good perspective of what you're doing. You can also do front, that'll work just the same. And you'll see on mesh tools you have this noise button. Just click on that and you'll see it starts to raise up according to the picture. So click it a few times and it'll get higher and higher. So again, if I wanted to like that, like a mountain landscape. And then if you go up you'll see it's 3D. Then to make it a real landscape, set it to smooth. And then hit tab to go back into object mode. And that really is how to start making a landscape. From then you can go onto the UV face selector and tweak it as much as you want. Just use your imagination, all the kind of tools you can use. But that really is a simple way to make a random landscape and it can turn out really great. So if any of you use this tutorial to find a good landscape or create your own good terrain, just tell me, I'll be interested to find out. So. That pretty much concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, which should be pretty soon. So, bye for now, and make sure to subscribe, because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos in the future.